2011 has been a year of much economic turmoil. The dollar's purchasing power has continued to decline as it has trended for the last 10 years. And the unemployment rate has went from 4.8% in 2005 to a steady 9% in 2011. With no jobs, a mortgage crisis, and the economy in disarray, people took to the streets. Occupy Wall Street. The working class of America, for many different reasons, protested. That is how I stumbled across one of the only industries that seemed to be unfazed by the current recession. During the last economic time, such as the one we are experiencing today, a great amount of wealth was amassed by the same industry. Alcohol. While other industries have suffered historic losses, alcoholic beverage sales grew by nearly 10% during the 12 months ended May 31, 2011, according to the financial information company SageWorks, even though the average unemployment rate during that time exceeded 9.3%. It seems that people in the U.S., despite having an ep economic downturn, like to party. And if it isn't a concert or show, it could be one of the dozen homegrown beer companies found all over the U.S., especially in Colorado. Little-known brewing companies of all sorts, like the Equinox Brewing Company in Fort Collins, Colorado, have continued to grow during the last few years. The flickering light on the economy hasn't stopped the crowds from washing away the tears with a cold one. Sales for Budweiser, the flagship brand for Anheuser-Busch, plunged 7.3% in 2010. But craft brewers have had a different experience. Sales at Boston Beer, the maker of Samuel Adams, and the market share leader in that category edged up 1.7% in 2010, according to Standard & Poor. Other craft brewers fared better last year. Sierra Nevada Brewing increased sales by 7.8%, and Magic Hat Brewing Company gained 14.8%. So while the economy may be on the verge of collapse, once again the alcohol and beer industry has kept raking in the yeast. Antonio Valenzuela. October 31st, Denver, Colorado.